Yo, I don't even, I don't even know if I'm gonna release this video. Um, I probably am, but not for a while. Today's like probably one of the worst days of my life. It's the last day of 2023. It's just like ah, oh, it's so fucking infuriating. Like everyone around me is a fucking idiot. I play games. Everyone around me is a fucking idiot. Like, like what, what are you? How do? Why do you play like a fucking retard? Everyone around me plays like a fucking retard, waiting to die. You know, I, I play games, I'm a fucking retard. I go through life, I'm a fucking retard. I, myself, I look in the mirror, I, my eyes can't even focus because of probably like screen usage. I'm a fucking retard, I'm a fuck up myself. Everything is just on my nerves. Like 2024 is just like not a good, not a good look. Like I'm, I'm walking into this year furious. That honestly, I'm walking into, into the year absolutely and utterly furious. Like, uh, uh, Everything is just not going my way, and I'm kind of playing fucking, you know, offering this, offering, offering myself rock maxing. A lot of things, a lot of things, regrets, mistakes. They all, they all come like, like in in a fast fashion. They all come in very fast, like in a very fast fashion. And the last, like, I haven't got a win in the last. I, I think I've been playing Apex for like um, since four a.m. I got one good game with 18 kills and 4,000 damage, and after that, I've just got no good game. I haven't won a singular fucking game. Like, every, like all the games I've been sucking cock. I don't know. I, 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 let me take pictures of my PS4. Um, I'm not trying to sell my PS4. Put the images on Facebook Marketplace because I'm very, very, like, fucking tired of this shit, honestly. Because I don't want to play PS4 anymore. I, I, want, I want a factory reset. I want to get rid of it. I, I, I just don't fucking want it anymore, man. This is the, this is the worst day ever of 20. Like, bro. This is the most black pilling day ever. Like holy shit! Like uh, I wouldn't really consider myself a black pill guy, but fucking hell, it's very easy to be black pill when th days are just this shit, man. Fuck! This is the last fucking day of twenty, bro. Tomorrow is gonna be twenty twenty four, and nothing is going to change. And of course, unless I do something about it. That gets on my fucking nerves. Jesus Christ, and my habit track, I haven't been loyal with it, I haven't been on 7th improvement, I haven't been going to the gym, I haven't been boxing, I've progressed, it, like, bro, it's so fucking annoying, honestly, it's just so fucking annoying, honestly, it is, it really is, like, I remember my face, my, my blood rushed to my head, my face again, the thing. it's just, today's just not a good day. Yeah, this morning, um, a lot of the days passed, and I think I've been productive. I don't have been too productive, to be perfectly honest with you. But um, I do have to say, uh, like, what was it again? I think I've been productive, but I know I know for sure I haven't been productive enough. But yeah, in the morning I was extremely pissed because I played Apex Legends and I had a really good game. I had really high expectations for myself, and th and then I just you know ended up never really reaching those expectations, and it's just like I would be stuck constantly in this like endless battle for trying to get better at the game, trying to have good performances. I would take a cold shower, I would drink coffee, I would brush my teeth. You know what I'm saying? I would do everything under the sun in order to try to be good, but I never would reach that good like threshold a good mark because i was putting such a high threshold myself and yeah, bro my, my first game i got 18 kills 4000 damage 4100 damage that is insane for apex legends and i just stopped doing good and i just and after about after like three eight four hours of gameplay i was like what the fuck am i doing this shit for like what, what am i doing this is the most pointless bullshit i've ever done in my entire life i'm just wasting time for what like for what for what merit what, what does it give me it doesn't, it doesn't give me anything it's like, I don't know, I just, I do know. I was wasting my time procrastinating and coping. And I couldn't use the laptop. And as a result, I just, I just fucked around. Uh, I lost valuable time that I cannot really ever get back, really. So I, yeah, I kind of just, oh, really regret that. And I, I would, I would like go in a fit of rage, an uncontrollable childlike rage. That wouldn't be, like, wouldn't be the thing tempted. And I guess it's also because like, it is like a monumentous day where it's, you know, 2023 is coming to an end, 2024 is coming, and, like, I just woke up, my mom just talked shit about me as well, and I can't even say anything, like, she's like, what do you even do at home, you don't do anything, you don't make money, you know, you're a failure, uh, what else, what else she say, you don't have a job, you don't have college education, you know, you're fucking useless, 
uh, and then you and then I, and things uh, you shy at me and then honestly I, I I never felt this way before but I, I just I, I can already tell the YouTube but I just I just scream for two months like a white boy and you know the white parents that fucking you know the white kids that like, talk back to their parents I'm like shut up and I'm like oh my god they don't mean to come out I apologized to her later on I was like my bad then we'll get fucking beat up because of the <laughs> I mean, she can't really do anything anymore. I remember, I remember she tried to like to beat me up again. I just grabbed her wrist, and then I didn't even do anything, and she started crying, like crocodile tears. Like what the fuck? Like, like um, I remember Phantom saying the same thing. I was like, oh my god, like that's so me. It's just it, to me, it was so weird because like this individual, I don't know. It's just single moms that have something like have a vendetta against against men against guys. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's just like it's very toxic, and it and it rubbed off of me. Like I could tell in my life as well, I have very feminine traits, and a lot of um, children of single of single men like fucking they they have this, they have this very feminine outlook on life. But they're not women, so they can't get away with it. You know what I'm saying, guys? Fem females, they can afford to be entitled. They can afford to be bratty. They can afford to be. You know, a bit more, a bit more flamboyant, flagrant per se. But men, we can't, we can't afford to be like that. We have to be stoic. We have to be hardworking. We have to be grinding. We have to be pushing our limits to the, to the absolute limit. Per, like you know, in per se, we have to be pushing ourselves to the absolute limit every single time without fail. That's what we should be as young men, as as grown men. You know, I remember seeing um a Bert. I don't know what his name is. Um, the the I don't know Bert Kneischner. No, that's a different guy. He's a comedian, I believe. But he was like, he was like, uh, what was it again? He's like, the moment a, young, a man, the moment a boy realizes he, and no one's coming to save him, that is when he becomes a man. I was thinking to myself, like, yeah, yeah, like, fuck, yeah, that, that's, that, that is exactly what's happening. The moment a young, a young, a young man, a boy, understands no one's coming to save him, and unless he grinds his soul out in order to become the best version of himself, he will not get better. Nothing will change. And I, I just, I just thought to myself, like, we, we, like, we, we're not, we're not grown up this way. And everyone you hear all the time, like, oh, men are about to be soy boys, men are to be like this. But, uh, of course, of course, we are. We're like, we're the product of, like, like probably like a, consp I don't know, sound like a conspiracy theorist, but like a product of like a of a of a society that desires us like heavily to be more masculine, uh, more feminine. But like, what for? What does that even benefit? Like, who does that? Who does that make benefit at the end of the day? Like, everyone says, is oh, the corporation overlords and blah, blah, blah. like no, no. Because if men were more masculine and were working more in our masculine imperative, there would be more people, more taxes, more money. Because they could just print out more money. For sure, the value of money will go down as well. But um, because of inflation, but that's a whole different argument. There'd be more money. There'd be more. More focused, like there'll be more focused, like like I don't know, working. Like because make, make, men have always been the working slave group. There'll be more of those. I don't know, like why isn't there just more humans? I feel like, it's not. I feel like I believe with my my heart that the Earth can take more people, and I think that from the statistical evidence so far, it, it literally can. Um, and because of this, we would be looking towards like real estate in space, for example. Like, like uh, industrializing, economizing, economizing? I don't know how to say a thing. My speech kind of like, you know, I've been awake for like 15 hours, bro. Give me a break. Um, we'll look, be looking towards making space travel and space living more economic and more viable for the average man. You know, innovation would be pushed further because there would be like a genuine intent. Either that or starvation. I that's starvation, straight up. So, um, I, it probably is going to be the last because most individuals are lazy. They want things handed them on a plate. And it, there's very few that, that will genuinely like be working their asses off, even when things are good. You know, the rich snobby kids that have trust funds, they don't end up doing anything. They just end up like playing around with the money, looking at the, money, the fucking money in the trust fund, and like never really achieving anything in their, in their mediocre little life. And then, uh, and then, you know, it's just, how do I say this, but... And the individuals that push themselves to the limit, that take the risks, that push the envelope in an innovation scale, they're very rare. They're very once, once people blooming, you you seldom get a guy like Elon, you know. Jesus Christ. So I'm going off topic here. My brain's lagging. Let me think. 
Yeah, I know. I was, I was on edge today because today's supposed to be a special day. New Year's, beginning of a new year, new year, new me, everything, etc., etc. It just, it just kind of like combines, and it just, I just, I look back on the year and I just think of myself as it's just a disappointment, you know, guys. And even though it's still like a one year, I'm still only one year and um, three months into so like my trackable self improvement. I know what it isn't enough. Like within my first six months, I could have been working on YouTube more. You know, my, I could have been grinding more. I could have been making more YouTube videos. I could have been pitching more people. I could have been working harder in Hustlers University. I joined the original Hustlers University with only 9,000 people. I failed. When Andrew Tate wasn't even big and he had 83,000 subs on YouTube, I subscribed to him. I emailed him. He saw my email. He gave me a discount. And guess what? I fucking failed. I'm a, I'm a failure. Like, I'm a, I'm a literal fuck up. Like, and 2023 was just like, just like a fuck up year in general. And I don't want the next year to be like that. So my emotions were pure, like all time high. I was, I, I was definitely at an all time high. And my, I was very angry and very frustrated. And like, I could definitely say I disenfranchised with myself. That's what caused my anger. That's what caused like the primordial anger that, that pushed me to the point of telling my mom to shut up, telling, punching the fuck out of my chair, like kicking the shit out of my stuff. Like everything just looks so down. I just wanted to like break everything. I don't know if you guys get that, but you know when things are just like everything on the, on the table is just so, so down. I just don't want to do anything anymore. You know what I'm saying, guys? So that's, that's what I was feeling at that, that very moment in time. And it was just, it, it was pure, it was pure copage, I guess. It was pure frustration. I, I It was just, oh, man. I think about often, it just, it just makes me sad inside, low-key. I don't know what to say, really. Um, that's, that's how it was. <sighs> I, 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 I'm not sure what to tell you. Is this the recording audio? Yeah, it is. Give me a moment. Bro, it's really fucking annoying as well. Like, what I see on my For You page is, oh my god, it, 2023 was so quick. Well, 2023 was the same as any other year. You were distracted. You were entertained. You were fucking up. That is to myself. That's like me projecting on in the, in the, this motherfucker. You're fucking up. Motherfucker. The reason why you haven't moved anywhere in life is because you haven't moved anywhere in life. That's it. I don't know, I don't want to tell you, that, that's it. If you worked harder, you'd be in a better spot. Well, no shit, Sherlock. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's just like, oh, it's just so fucking, it's so infuriating hearing these fucking dumbass uh, kids just talk, man. Just yap. Honestly, yap, yap, yap a Because I know what I'm capable of. I know what I'm, I know what I can do. And I know what... Most of you can do. I remember Brandon Carter, like he's, he 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 commented in his, he commented his own comment section when he's like, like taking like shit or something, which is absolutely crazy to me. Think about it's just, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy to me. But like you know, he just you know what I'm saying, guys. He he comments on his on his videos when he takes a shit, and then he just said in his in the, in this in this screenshot I'm about to show you. He says, "I believe in your in in you more than you believe in yourself." I think to myself like, what the fuck? Like, ri <laughs> a multi-millionaire, a self-made multi-millionaire from drug dealer, Chicago drug dealer on the streets, to a multi-millionaire doing whatever the fuck he wants, like buying product and flexing it in front of a YouTube camera, uh, not a YouTube camera, in front of in front of a camera for YouTube. Like that's like that's the life he's lived. You know what I'm saying? From his dad literally blowing his brains out, to him living the best life he could possibly live ever. You know what I'm saying? It's so... If you guys, like, put effort into yourself, put down the fucking phone, put down the bullshit, leave the bullshit behind where it deserves to be, the position you would be in life would be so high, so immense, it would be so difficult to, like... It would be so difficult to comprehend. Like this year, I know I know myself. I could have worked so much harder. I could have been in such a bad position, and I could. I honestly, I think this year I could have made my first million pounds. Like it's just, 
But what, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I ended up wasting time. I ended up being around the bush. Ended up destroying, like, my life in real time. And I just, like, you see what happens. Like, I just, I, I haven't really moved anywhere in life. It's so fucking dumb, like, honestly. <sighs> Everyone is the same way, ladies and gentlemen. You have an elite opportunity to push ahead in front of everyone else. Leap, like, lap the competition in front of everyone else and destroy the competition in real time. That's why, that's why I think... I'm not even 2024 today. Like I'm gonna, I'm, bro. I'm gonna be working hard, as hard as I can for the rest of the rest of the evening. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Sorry about that. I just, um, I don't know. I, I, it's all fucking annoying. Like I'm not good enough. I'm listening to my top G himself. I listen. Bro, the glazing is crazy. I'm just listening to him talk about you know the end of the year and. What, like, you know, motherfuckers are lazy and all this sort of thing, right? Fair enough. I am. But it, it isn't even, like, because I'm lazy. I think I'm just, like, I'm just fucking dumb. Like, cheap dopamine, cheap comfort. I, I walk back into it. Endlessly. Endlessly I walk back into it. Because it's easy. I believe I've already mentioned this in the video. But, like, it's so annoying how I, I, I catch myself walking back. I'm doing, I'm doing it right now. I'm playing Roblox. Or I'm recording this video. What the fuck am I playing Roblox and recording this video? Oh, because I want to reach level 200 and it's a fake video game that doesn't mean anything. And like, what am I doing this for? Like, what am I doing this for? I'm about to call my friend to play video games with him again. Oh, you want to chill and play video games? Like, what am I doing this for? Like, what the fuck? Like, what is the purpose of my action? Like, oh, it's just so... It's frustrating. It's annoying. It's just... It's not reflective of, in the, in, of the individual I want to be. The individual I should be. And I'm, it's slowly catching up to me as like the hours like go by and the hours tick by and I realize holy shit, time flying and and I'm just in the same position. I'm only 193 in the, in the game I play. I'm like top five percent, top ten percent of play gamers players probably in this game I play. Um, I'll probably reach level 200 soon and then 205. I, I don't think I'll try to reach. I'll just leave level 200. I'm happy with that. And then after that, I'll probably I'll probably quit the game, which is such a shame. Like it's such a shame just to quit the game that you grinded so hard for. It's so it's so dumb. Like uh, it's so fucking stupid. It's really stupid. It's it's ne it's backwards thinking. It's negative thinking. It's just and it, it's exactly what I'm doing. Like I should be reading the notes that I have. I printed out more. I should probably be, you know. Working on the website more. I probably should be doing this. Probably should be doing that. But I'm not. Like I'm just fucking around, and uh, I'm gonna pay the price, guys. I'm gonna pay the fucking price. I feel tired, you know. I think I'm gonna call it a day here. I'm gonna listen to Andrew Tate a bit, and then I'm gonna fucking leave because I wrote this video. I'll probably try to make a video on my phone. Some Batman content I have. Um, I don't, I just, it's so, I don't have any Batman content, fuck. <laughs> bro, CapCut is on my balls, bro, pause. Like, CapCut's, like, destroying me like, from the inside, because it's not even letting me, like, it's not letting me, it's not letting me use my fucking, ah, it's so annoying, it's not letting me use my, um, I, not my, the transitions I was using before, like, uh, apparently you have to use a light motion to use, like, use transitions like that. I was like, oh my god, long. I'm gonna have to learn a whole new software, bro. <sighs> I'm so tired. And uh, Andrew Tate mentioned something that I really like as well. He, he mentions how your soul and your mind and your body and your thoughts are some of the thing, only things that you really own in life. You know, the money, the laptop, all the materialistic, materialistic things, and despite him having so many, uh, at, a mo at, a, at a thing, at a moment's whim, or a, a whim's notice, or a whim's glance, I don't know what the, the saying is, but on a whim, it can be taken away, at a glance notice, on a, on a glance, at a whim of glance, I don't, I don't know what the, the phrase is. On, on a whim's glance. On a whim, on a caprice, on a vagary, on a crotchet. On a, on a sudden whim, on a, what, what, I don't know what the fuck, I, I don't know what it is, I don't know what the phrase is, but on, on a whim, you can lose everything. 
You know, guys, like you can be put in prison for bullshit. You know, you can be, you know, exonerated. Not exonerated. Is that exonerated the right word? You'd be incarcerated for, you know, bullshit claims. Your life can be destroyed in real time. It doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. Anything can happen. You know, but your mind, your body, your thoughts, these are the things that you own, you know. These are, these are the only things that you own. And Luke, ba Luke Belmont, despite Luke Belmont being like a, like, a, like, a, like a skinny, like a twig, like no offense. And, <laughs> yeah, I really like Luke Belmont, but he's, like, he's literally put like a twig. Despite him being a twig, I really like how he says... If, instead of chasing that Lamborghini, how about you become that Lamborghini so you, you don't have to chase anything. You're happy and content with what you have or some shit like that. He might have just said, just become that. Instead of chasing the Lamborghini, become the Lamborghini. And I really like that phrase. And despite what's coming from him, his brother's more ripped than him. I don't know why he's talking about, do I have to be Ronnie Coleman? You don't have to be Ronnie fucking Coleman. Like, you just need to be like, you know, have some abs, have a bit of pecs, have some bit of biceps. And you're sure that you, you reach your name, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm tired, fuck. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's just... Uh, most people are so fucking... Oh my god. So out there. I don't have to be a millionaire. I don't have to be a billionaire. And they use that as... As like a, as like a crutch. To not be great. And I think that's good, though, because... The more, the le the more people that, that are mediocre in life, the more people that are lesser the more opportunity there is for you to become greater. 2024. It's going to come in like a wrecking ball, I believe. I think as quick as it comes, it's going to go. It's going to come very quick and it's going to come... It's going to come in very quick and it's going to, and it's going to go very quick as well. Like a father trying to get milk. And I believe that it's going to... For the majority of people, for the 99% of people, it's going to be another year of bullshit. Of you know instant, dop instant gratification dopamine, of of just movies and Netflix and school and all these other bullshit secondary things. That's what it's gonna be. Twenty twenty four is the year I become, or I take major steps to becoming a millionaire. You know, previously I said, oh yeah, five hundred shorts by the end of the year, bro. I didn't fucking upload videos. I didn't make the shorts I was gonna make. I did, my computer crashed, fair enough, but I, I, I didn't do the work I needed to do, I know that in my heart, in the heart of hearts, I know what the fuck I, like, I, I did or didn't do, but, like, that's my fault, you know what I'm saying guys, it's completely, utterly my fault. Let me listen to Andrew Tate real quick, be back. I'm watching speed stream, I just made a massive financial decision that will impact the course of my life, and I, I, I Fuck. And I will, I will act on this fucking decision. I'm only telling you. But I'm going to rectify my failure. And I'm going to do something that no man has ever dared to do. Be great. I'm, I'm joking. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers dare to be great every single fucking day. Just good enough for myself. That's what I ask. Fuck's sake. 10k month. Let's go. Let's get this. Happy fucking New Year's. 10 a. It's 10 p.m. Happy New Year. Stay safe. Live mediocre. Die mediocre.